We're getting you the inside details of Amit Shah's interrogation by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Remember, he was questioned last week about DG Vanzara's controversial letter earlier this year. And in a specific question, the BJP's UP campaign in charge was asked whether he gave any instructions to the jailed Gu former Gujarat top cop DG Vanzara. That's the news we're bringing you on top of 6pm. Meetu joining us on the details of uh, Amit Shah quizzing. Meetu. Well, you see, what we've been told is that Amit Shah was questioned for only one hour and not for about, say, four to six hours as has, has been reported in the past. We've also been told that where Amit Shah is uh, concerned, you see where his call records are concerned, there are several call records which, which show that he was in constant touch with DG Vanzara, with GL Singhal and with others. So the questioning that was done was on the lines of what was really discussed. And of course, Amit Shah, we understand, has told um, his, uh, his uh, questioners that um, where, where he was the home minister, and therefore it was his job to be in touch with his police officials. Now, to say that it was uh, about, uh, to say that it was about uh, the Ishra Jaha killing is completely preposterous, and he was the home minister, so therefore he was talking to them. So, of course, one question, questioning, one line of questioning was on the call records of. Um, DG Vanzara but, um, and, and Amit Shah, but beyond that, we do know that where, um, where Amit Shah is concerned, he was only questioned for one hour, and at the moment, it, it looks highly improbable that in the supplementary charge sheet that will be filed, it's not very clear that his name will figure, because at the moment, the CBI doesn't really have too much to go on where evidence against Amit Shah is concerned.